Hello, in this video, we're going to solve for the per unit tax that maximizes government tax revenue. The market demand curve is given by the following equation, and we have the following market supply curve. We want to solve for the per unit tax that maximizes government tax revenue. So we're going to take the market supply curve and we're going to shift it up vertically by the size of the tax. So I'm going to take this market supply curve and I'm going to add plus T, where T is the per unit tax. This shifts up the market supply curve again by the amount of the tax. Now we're going to set the market demand curve equal to the market supply curve equation, making our substitutions. And now solving for Q, 14 minus 2 is 12. I'm going to add 2Q to both sides. That's where the 3Q is coming from. And now let's subtract the tax from both sides. And now let's divide through by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then this minus t divided by 3 is what we're left with. So the expression from the last slide. Now let's form government tax revenue. The government tax revenue equation R will equal the tax, the per unit tax, times the number of units taxed. So t here is multiplied by q, where q is represented by 4 minus t divided by 3. Now distribute the t. We got 4t minus t squared divided by 3. And now we're ready to maximize. We're going to take the derivative of this expression with respect to t, set that derivative of a result equal to 0, and then solve for t. So the derivative of 4t is 4. The derivative of minus t squared divided by 3 is minus 2t divided by 3. And we're setting that result equal to 0. We're maximizing. Moving some things around. 3 times 4 gives us 12. And, the, and then dividing through by 2, the per unit tax that maximizes government total tax revenue is going to be $6 per unit. To get the amount of output that will be taxed in this market, take our Q equation, and for T, we're going to substitute in the $6, the amount of the tax, and the number of units that are going to be taxed here in this case is going to be 2. So the government would collect tax revenue of 6 times 2 or $12. We'll see that on the next slide. So government tax revenue is going to be the tax times the number of units taxed. So 6 times 2 is $12. Uh, if we want to get the buyer's price, just plug that 2 back into the demand curve here, and we get $10. So buyers are going to be paying $10 when we put this $6 tax in the market. And as for sellers, sellers are going to receive this $10 from the buyers, then the sellers are going to submit the tax to the government, leaving sellers on net or after tax with only $4. Okay, that's it.